Welcome to GriffoMedia.com. My name is Griffo. Thank you for checking out my channel. There is my racing rig. Thank you to new subscribers over the festive season. Uh, the biggest traffic that I've had on my channel is the videos playing this game right here with wheel and pedals. Of course, the uh, developer didn't support it. The game I'm talking about is that one, Need for Speed Heat. Logitech G29, wheel and pedals is how I race on it. And lots of people asking how to play it. So stay tuned, guys. I'm about to show you and get arrested. So this is the device that enables us to use the Logitech G29 or the 920 or Thrustmaster, Fanatec, Hori, whatever wheel you've got on the consoles with this game that we're going to show you today. It's Need for Speed Heat, but of course it will make it work with any game, not just that one. Just that the developers of that are so lazy not to give wheel support. We're just going to show you how to do it. So this is the Rear Snow Crosshair Converter. 85 UK pounds this was from Amazon.co.uk. And uh, it needs to be set up on a PC. Right now in front of me, I have my gaming PC. And I've got my mouse and my keyboard here. So I'm just going to basically scroll to the settings here and click on the uh, controller here, which is the box looks a bit like Apple TV. You'll get the firmware, by the way, from rearsnow.com forward slash support forward slash download, just so you know. So I'll click that, and uh, I've not upgraded mine in ages. So need to upgrade firmware to this manager. It's saying error at the moment, so we'll do that. And that is the latest firmware for mine, and I've got to say, it's probably two years ago since I've updated it. Naughty, naughty. So uh, this is updating right now. So uh, at the moment, it's white. Uh, generally, uh, in my experience, it starts flashing a few different colors. And how quick is that? Upgrade is successful. So we'll just click that. And these are the games that provisionally I had set up before for the Xbox One, as you can see. I'll scroll through the consoles that you can do with the rear snow. Uh, but the games were Forza. Uh, Forza Horizon 3 was my F1, which is, you know, on my uh, basically my first game. Uh, the startup game was, uh, was Forza 6. And on Forza, what it'll do is use the RB and the R, uh, you know, the, the controller. And basically, it'll just map them as pedals. Uh, so it's really handy. So uh, those are the first six games I set up with this. I've not done anything since because let's be honest, a lot of the driving games use the same kind of map pedals. RB is always the accelerator, etc, etc. So those are the games that I initially um, sorted. Uh, the consoles here you can see are part of the firmware. You can do the Xbox One, PS3. Um, it's just a custom game for that. So what I did was just map the pedals for the uh, the triggers. Um, then you've got, of course, the Xbox 360. I've got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit for that. And uh, again, a lot of the Xbox 360 games work on the same kind of uh, RB for accelerator, etc. So you don't really need to go through much. Um, in terms of Nintendo Switch, there is a video on my channel where I show all the controllers used on the Switch. Uh, Xbox One controller, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, but I've never ever demoed any games working, but they do, and uh, the plan is in the next couple of weeks to do Mario Kart 8 and, uh, you know, some other bits and pieces, uh, but the Switch does work with this and the Logitech G29 as well, which is really handy, uh, and then of course you've got the PS4. Lots of people asking, how does Need for Speed Rivals work with the Logitech G29? There's no wheel support. Well, it does. And uh, <laughs> quite a few people on my channel saying, it's a fake. It's not real. Well, actually, you can see there, it, it's not a fake at all. And you do um, have a configuration for Need for Speed Rivals straight out the box. Now, because I've not updated the firmware on this for ages, I'm guessing there'll be a lot more games supported. So um, I think I went to import last time and then there was quite a few different games that, that appeared. And if I click on new, you'll see that uh, basically you can add some of the new configurations they've done. It's not just racing games, of course, on this. You can see there's a variety of games that people use keyboard and mouse for. Uh, the Call of Duty and Battlefield games springing to mind there. But of course, you've got Dirt Rally as a configuration, uh, Forza Horizon 3 and 2, and uh, also the uh, 
the six and the Forza five um, and a few other ones. I'm a bit surprised there's not more. Uh, I've not updated mine for a while. Project Cars is still an option. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do now is show you how it works on Need for Speed Heat. So I'm going to take the USB out of my gaming PC. I'm going to plug it straight back into there, which will be the console, the Xbox One where I plug it in. And uh, basically, I'll put my Logitech G29. I'll show you uh, in a sec. So the firmware is all up to date on there now, and the Logitech G29 is the black one plugged into the front. The side one is the Xbox One controller, which we need to be able to play Need for Speed Heat. The only thing I need to do now is plug this into the Xbox One. That's a USB, of course, which is attached to the uh, crosshair converter. And that, with a bit of luck now, will make my wheel spin around which means we have a lock and a hit and the rear snow converter will go purple which is great it's kind of purpley blue you can see that uh, but it is uh, now connected so i can switch my tv away from that and uh, we can bring the xbox one back onto the screen xbox one should fire up and then we can play this game with a wheel and pedal so uh, as you can see it's there, it said the controller had been connected. If I press A, this wheel is connected and gives me all the functionality I need. So uh, now I'm gonna shove the camera just to the side of me and give you some gameplay action, guys, and hopefully it's been helpful. Comments below, a lot of people ask about PS4 games and other consoles as well. You just reverse it. So basically I'm plugging the Xbox One controller in. You just substitute it with a, with a PS4 controller and do exactly the same. And uh, obviously plug the USB, not into the Xbox One, but the PS4, and it'll have the same effect for you guys. So let's have a bit of racing time and thanks for watching. So here we go, guys, we're all wired up. We get the different views, of course. That's my little mediocre car because I've not played this game a lot. So I've got the entry level car, but obviously you can switch through the views. This will work with force feedback. And uh, yeah, I mean, the only downside I would say, but I'm sure I can customize certain buttons with the rear snow little bit of firmware. Uh, but the RB button for some reason is not configured on the G29. So I need to press that on the Xbox One. So there we go, mission started. We're just gonna play a little bit of the game here so you can see how it works. Any questions, guys, feel free. There's a bit of confusion, I think, in my previous videos that basically people weren't quite getting how we did it. Um, so hopefully that makes a bit more sense because a lot of people didn't know whether they could do the same on the PS4 version of the game and they were asking me to make a demo for the PS4. I only own the Xbox One version so uh, that wasn't really going to happen unless somebody sent it to me. Um, and then of course, um, and then people were asking stuff about how to get the converter sorted and they were having problems downloading the firmware. Reasnow.com is where you get that. Um, and the, the guys are well on top of their firmware by the look of it because um, the, the recent firmware was actually after Christmas, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, I mean, this game's not supported by the um, developers. I can imagine a lot of people getting this game at Christmas uh, as a gift or maybe buying it um, when it came out, which was only a couple of months back, and being really disappointed that the developers seemingly are not supporting the game. Why? I don't know. It's a racing game, for heaven's sake, and, you know, it's an arcade racing game. Um, there's the argument that sim racing games should only be done in a wheel. I don't agree with that. If I go into an arcade and I'm playing an arcade game, I don't play it on a joystick, do I, on the, uh, on the arcade machine? So uh, I don't see why it should be a thing with this. But anyway, works great. Force feedback's going on it. Um, Need for Speed really isn't my kind of game, if I'm honest. I mean, they're fun to play. Um, I kind of like other titles. Uh, I don't really like to go through story modes. I think the races are great. Um, and that's why I didn't know there was a bend coming up. Yay! Oh, Kenny's there, is he? Um, but no, it's good fun, isn't it? You know, when you get into a, a bit of a gaming session. But, you know, I just want to be helpful, show you guys that it is possible to do it. You don't need to be on a PC, you can do it on your consoles, you can do it on the Xbox One, 
and the PS4 and have a bit of fun. So we're going to do this little thing here and then we'll draw the video to a close, guys. Always appreciate the subscriptions. The comments are good. The haters will be haters. The keyboard warriors will do what they do. Uh, but let's keep YouTube happy uh, with some interesting content. So let's have a race here. See, force feedback rattling away. Do have a website as well, guys. Swing by griffomedia.com. So guys, if you found this video to be helpful in some way, shape or form, please uh, go and give it the thumbs up. Share it with your mates, with social media. I know lots of people are into the gaming thing, so I always appreciate that. And you've been watching griffomedia.com. This is Need for Speed Heat, Logitech G29, wheel and pedals, force feedback. And you can do this on the Xbox One or the PS4 and uh, as I drive into a hedge and finish hopefully first. Thanks for checking out my channel. Woo!